All right, welcome back, guys. We're going to be solving another question from the third chapter of the injury mechanics by Miriam. And we have the bent rod ACDB that is supported by a sleeve at point A and a ball and socket joint at point B. We need to determine the components of the reactions and the tension in the cable, and we can neglect the mass of the rod. So, as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram and we're going to see how many forces are applying to the bench rod ACDB. And looking at that, we'll have a ball and socket at point B, meaning we need to consider three different forces, one along X, one along Z direction and one along Y direction, BY. So we have three unknowns in there. We have a sleeve at point A meaning it can freely rotate it can freely move in x direction so we don't consider any friction so no force in x direction but uh, the movement is still limited in z and y direction so we have to consider az and ay again no x because it can move in x direction and we don't consider any friction for this thief and the last one would be the tension that is in the cable ed you can show it with t and that's pretty much all the forces that are applying in here. And we have the weight of this weight, which would be mass times acceleration of gravity, 9.81. That's going to give us the weight in Newtons. And looking at this, we have six, six unknowns, which means we need six equations to solve this problem. We have a 3D questions. We have three different equations. We have three equations for the force, sum of all forces in x, y, and z equals zero. And we're going to have the same scenario for moments about x axis, about y axis, and about z axis. So we should be able to find the all the unknowns that we have in here because we have six equations and we have six unknowns. But before that, we need to figure out the tension in the cable in a vector form. And for doing that, uh, as we talked about before, we need the unit vector and the tension in the cable, which is going from point D to E would be the magnitude of the tension in the cable, which is the unknown times the unit vector NDE or lambda DE, it really doesn't matter, whatever you're more comfortable. So, and for finding the unit vector DE, we basically have to see how we are moving in X, Y, Z. And at the end, we're going to divide that by the, the magnitude of that vector. So let's just start with the NDE. So let's find the unit vector of the DE. So moving from D to E, we have to figure out how we are moving in X and Y and Z direction. So looking at this, we can see that from D to E, this would be our movement for x which as we can see is 0.2 and it will be positive because we are going along the positive action direction of the x so 0.2 i would be our unit vector for x now we have to figure out the y and our y movement would be from here to here first of all we are going against the y axis so we need a negative sign and the distance would be the distance that we have in here which is 0.5, so negative j would be our unit vector for y component, and we just have to figure out the z. And for z, we can see that we are basically going from point A to E, positive direction, so 0.4k, and the denominator of the unit vector is pretty easy. We just have the square root of each of these to the power of 2. So now, now we just have to divide each of these by the denominator. So let's see what we get. So we're going to have this fraction where 0.2 would be our x. And we're going to have the square root of 0.2 squared plus 0.5 squared plus 0.4 squared. So, and this t will be multiplied in each of these. We can just factor t for now here. So our x would be 0.298i. For finding the j, we just put minus 0.5 in here. So negative 0.745j. And our k would 
be positive 0.4 plus 596 K and that would be our tension in the cable in the vector form. So now that we have each of these components, we can find the moment about X axis. And as I mentioned, for finding the moment, we're going to look at the axis. If we are going moment of clockwise, we get a negative sign. And for counterclockwise, we're going to get a positive moment. So looking at the moment about X, the moment of all the forces that we have at A and B will be canceled out will end up with the moment of the weight and also the Z component of the cable. So if I want to show the, this will be T Z. let me just change the color. If I want to resolve the, the tension in the cable, this will be T Z. this will be our T X and our T Y would be in this direction, negative, so as we can see, only TZ is going to make moment about X axis. And as we can see, we'll be in this direction. If we look at from the point of view of this guy, we see that it's a counterclockwise. So positive and TZ is basically T times. Keep in mind that this T needs to be multiplied in each of them, 0 0.596. And the distance that we have is the distance of tz to the x-axis which is 0.5 and we're going to have the moment of the weight this one will be clockwise so negative 100 times 9.81 and we're going to have the same distance 0.5 equals zero and that's how we can find the first force which is t and that would be basically 981 divided by point five nine six so this is going to be the tension in the cable sixteen forty five point ninety seven newtons and our first unknown let's move on to our second moment equation i started with the moment equation because uh, we need the moment equation to find the unknowns the other ones uh if we start with the forces we have more than one unknown in each equation so that's why I started with the moment equation. So let's look at the figure, see what we have for y. I'm just clean this up a little bit. So for finding the moment about y axis, uh, the bz is going to make moment. So we're going to do the same thing. Put a little bit guy in here to see the counterclockwise moment. We put positive sign and counterclockwise. Uh, counterclockwise positive, clockwise negative. So we're going to have the moment of BZ in this direction. So it's counterclockwise. So we're going to have a positive moment. And the distance would be uh, this distance, 0.3 plus 0.2. So BZ time 0.5. That's everything for point B or point A. Uh, we're going to have the moment of AZ. This one's in this direction. So clockwise negative. minus az and the distance uh same thing 0.3 plus 0.2 which is 0.5 we're gonna have the moment of the weight counterclockwise so positive so plus 9.81 and the distance would be uh this distance in here which is 0.3 so times 0.3 And the last thing would be the, the tension in the cable, which about Y axis, we can see only TZ is going to make moment and the moment is counterclockwise. So positive plus TZ and distance would be same distance. Uh, I'm just going to put the TZ what we had in the uh, in here, so we'll be in point seven forty five seven forty five. 
and don't get confused by this direction because I already showed the correct direction. Oh, sorry, for the TZ, we're going to have uh, the point five fifths, uh, 0.596. And as I mentioned, the moment is going to be positive and the distance would be uh, the standard distance from Y axis to T uh, where the cable is applying the tension. So it would be 0 0.2. And we have two unknowns in here, which means we have to move on to the last moment equation about Z. Uh, looking at the figure, we can see that the at point A, the AY is going to make a moment about uh, Z axis. Same thing, we're going to put a little guy in here looking at it. The AZ would be in this direction, so it's counterclockwise positive. Uh, so AY would be positive, so AY times the distance the distance would be again the distance from o to a which is 0 0.5 0 0.3 plus 0.2 and uh, w is not going to make any moments about point a because it's same direction oh uh, we're going to have the moment of by which as we can see will be in this direction so clockwise negative by times the distance is also 0.5 and we also have the moment of the tx and ty so tx would be in this direction so clockwise minus tx times the distance would be 0.5 and we have the moment of ty which is going to be counterclockwise so we'll be in this direction about y x z axis so so positive plus ty times the distance would be 0.2 equals 0. And we know that tx is uh, what we have in here, t times 0.298. And our ty is t times... 0.745.745 and I didn't put the negative sign because the negative sign is already taken into the account when we define the direction of the moment so that's why I didn't put a negative very similar to what we do what we do in the 2d shortcut so if we look at these two, we can see that these two will be canceled out. So 0 0.298 times 0 0.5 minus 0 0.745 times 0 0.2 is going to give us zero. So basically the moment from these two will be canceled out. And from this equation, we can conclude that AY is equal to BY. And now we can move on to our uh, force equation. I'm going to start with sum of all forces in y equals 0 because uh, now that we have ay plus by plus the y component of the t, which is minus 0. 0.745 times t, which was 1645.9. So AY would be basically 0.745 times 1645.97 divided by 2. Just going to give us uh, 613 Newton uh, 0.12. And that's going to be equal to BY2. So we found ay by from the x equation we're going to have our bx plus a doesn't have any x component plus the x component of the uh, 
the tension in the cable so plus 0.298 times again the tension in the cable equals zero bx is going to be negative so the correct direction is actually negative 1645.97 that's going to be minus 490.5 newtons so there's only one thing left and uh, that would be az and bz if we just uh, do our equation for z we're going to have az plus bz plus the the z component of the t which was 0.596 times t which uh, we figured again 1645.97 minus the weight which is downward so 981 equals zero we have one equation in here and we so from this equation if we just az plus bz and if we calculate this part we can see that the 0.596 times the tension is going to give us 981 which is pretty close to this one so this will be equal to zero that means az is basically equal to minus bz keep in mind that we have one more equation uh, if you just put that in the moment equation that we had in here we should be able to find az and bz and if we do that our az is going to be 490 newtons and our bz would be minus 490 newtons and that's going to be all the six unknowns that we have for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one